Dropshipping on eBay, it's all about converting time to money and find winning products to sell on your store. The fastest way to do it is to find other dropshippers who use the same supplier like you and then get their best selling products to your store. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find eBay dropshippers who source products from Walmart and Home Depot and then get the winning products. I'm Nahar Geva, your host, and I'm going to show you now how to use Zeek Analytics to find dropshippers who source products from Walmart and Home Depot. So I'm going to start first with Walmart. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to open Zeek Analytics, as you can see here inside the dashboard of Zeek Analytics. I'm going to first set up my settings accordingly. So if you're sourcing products from Walmart, you will probably dropship to eBay.com. You just have to make sure inside the quick settings you are on United States and supplier settings Walmart and apply changes to complete the settings. Now, after you set up the settings, you will open the product research tool and you probably ask yourself why Nahar suggests us to open the product research tool if we are looking for other sellers, which are probably uh, can be found by the competitor research tool, right? So let me explain you the logic. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to search for products. In case of Walmart, I'm going to search for brands, for Walmart brands, on the product research tool. The product research tool will bring up the top sellers and the top items selling under this keyword. And then I'm going to check out these sellers that come up in the results. Let's go through the process so you understand exactly how it looks like and how you find dropshippers who source products from Walmart. So first of all, I will, I will go to Google and I will write here Walmart brands. Now, what's special about Walmart is that Walmarts have their own brands, product brands that only sell in Walmart. So it's much easier to identify who is dropshipping from Walmart to eBay because we just need to search one of those brands. When you do dropshipping uh, from Amazon to eBay or AliExpress to eBay or even Home Depot to eBay, the process will be a bit different because they don't have their own brands. But here in this case, when you look for dropshippers who use Walmart, it's quite easy process. So I search Walmart brands on Google. I'll open this Wikipedia set and then I'll go through the brands. So you have here a uh, major brand. So Sam Choice, Great Value, Equate, as you can see here, Mindstays, Spatial kidding, etc. So for this example, I will take Mindstays. It's the most famous brand. You'll just copy Mindstays. By the way, you can search any other brand, okay? And I'll go to the product research and I'll just paste here the name of the brand. I'll paste the name of the brand. I'll click the search button. What Zig does now is pull the eBay best match results, all the listings that have this keyword either in the title or the description that come up on the search result and organize it from the top selling to the list. You can also see the statistics of the niche and of the product. Uh, but uh, right now, because we focus on finding other dropshippers, we don't really care about the statistics. We are not looking for products or niches, right? So I will skip the statistics and scroll down to the results. And here on the results, you can see on the left side, the seller information, the country, the name, amount of feedbacks, amount of sales. And then on the right side, the product picture and the title, sales in the last 30 days, lifetime sales, the selling price of the product, and these little signs that are telling you this guy is a dropshipper. Now, uh, you can also use the filter to drop shippers only here. Uh, but for now, what I'm going to do is keep it as is. Now, once you get to these results, all you need to do is to go and search and analyze the competitors with a competitor research tool. This little button, scan seller button, is automatically analyze the, the seller inside the competitor research tool. So I will click on this guy and on this guy, and I will also try this guy and also this guy and also this guy. So I'm searching one, two, three, four, five sellers, okay? Now, let me give you some little tip on how to use this. So if you will just click on the button, it will open in a new tab. And if you want to run through them quickly without to get distracted by opening new tabs all the time, you click on the keyboard, the control button, and then you click on the seller name, for instance here, and it will open it without to jump to the new tab. Let's go through the sellers. So I'm inside the sellers. My setting here inside the competitor research is on the last seven days sales. You can also switch it to last 30 days. So you will get 30 days data. Now, when you look for sellers, I suggest to 
work on the 30 days. When you look for products later, switch to the seven days. But I want to see what the, the seller did in the last 30 days. What is performance? Now take a look on this seller here. These Vietnamese sellers have 1,500% sell through rate, 45 active listings, 676 sold items and $8,000 revenue. Looks like this guy drop ship from uh, Walmart. And what you need to do now is go through his product, try to find them on Walmart just to make sure he's working with good profit merchants because you don't want to spend time researching sellers who work on very low profit margins. So let's go uh, through these sellers for instance. This is an Israeli seller generating $69,000 revenue in 30 days, guys. Very good, very good sellers, right? Only 166 active listings. And this is another thing you can learn with a competitor research tool when you do uh, competitor research and you find other dropshippers is learn their selling strategy. This guy focused on expensive items. $91 average selling price, $91. So he don't need to generate too many transactions to make $69,000. He generates 757 transactions who generate $69,000 in sales. And this is powerful. So you not just find seller to copy their items. If you will open your mind and you will think big, you will be able also to learn their selling strategies. So now let's validate the profit margins of this seller. So I'll just go and, and pick any product. Now, as you know, if you watch other videos of mine, I suggest to always go for products that have two sales in seven days and no more than 10 competitors. But for this example, I'm just going to show you how it works. Okay. And when you uh, validate profit margins, you don't really care about the competition. You just want to check one, two, three products to see the profit margins of the seller. So let's grab this product. For instance, click here on the red box, click here on search title on Walmart. And what happened is that Zeke will automatically send the title to Walmart and will help you find the product. Now, this product here is this as I guess. So yeah, this is the exact same product, 12 count, selling for $19.99. And we can see here that it sells on Walmart for $11.97. 12 count is exactly the same one, right? So now, once you find the sellers, you do the calculation and see how the profit margins are. And as we can see, this guy work on decent profit margins. When you work with Walmart or Home Depot, you usually work between 7% to 15% profit margins. It's around around 10%, sometimes a bit less. And if you validate one, two products, and you see these guys work with profit margins, you can click here, add to watch list. You can save this great Walmart seller and you can come back later and you can analyze these sellers every week. Let him find product for you. Build an army of sellers that list profitable products, optimize profitable products, and then just come every week, see what they're selling, get new ideas, list it to your store. So I save it to my store and then you will have the list inside your competitor list here. Now, this is one way to find sellers. Now, the first initial way to find other dropshippers who use Walmart is to go to Google and search for the brands. But once you find one seller, these sellers will lead you to many other sellers. As you can see, if I will scroll down here, all these products have a lot of competitors, right? Now, usually we, we, we don't show interest for products with a lot of competitors. This is when we look for products. When we look for sellers, a lot of competitors is a good thing. If 28 people selling this product means most of them, probably all of them, all the 28 sellers are dropshippers who dropship from Walmart to eBay. So you will hit the scan title button here. It will open the product on the product research results. After we scan the title, you see 28 listings. You scroll down and you see, wow, they're all using the same pictures. They're all dropshipping for Walmart. So now you can go through all of them, check every seller, and try to find products and good sellers. Have you heard you can win one month subscription for Zeek Analytics for free? First, like this video. Second, subscribe to the channel and don't forget to ring the notification bell to get notified for new videos we post. And third, share with us your biggest why. Why are you doing this business? What are your dream goals that you want to achieve with succeeding on eBay? Every week we give away for free one month subscriptions to Zeek Analytics. That means you can win as well. Now I would like to show you how to find dropshippers who use Home Depot. The process works on the same logic. However, the beginning is a little bit different. Let's get started. So I will just close all these screens here right now. And what I will do, I will open here Home Depot. This time I will open Home Depot website. So you will have here again, the product research open and Home Depot. Now. 
Because Home Depot does not have the exact same brands, the exact same logic like Walmart, I'm going to do it in a different way now. I'm going to go to Home Depot. I'm going to look for some best sellers in, in random categories. I'm going to search the title on Zeek and I'm going to find products like this. So let's do it. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to click here on all departments and then I'm going to go here to, for instance, let's go for lawn and garden. Then I will just pick any random uh, category here. Uh, let's go here for outdoor power garden and equipment. Okay, shop all garden essentials. This is one way to go. Second option is just see here on the best sellers. As you can see, you have best seller, best seller, best seller, best sellers, etc. So I will just pick here random best seller. So let's open this one. So this is a one gel pump sprayer HDX. This title is very short. We can try it out. We can try it out, but I prefer to find products with more keywords because this probably can bring out a lot of random keywords. It's good that we go through this example to be uh, more specific here. So I'm glad. So let's check out this product here. So I'll copy this keyword. I'll go back to the product research and I'll paste it here and I'll hit the search button. Now we got 12 listings, zero stats, zero sales, right? 12 listings of sellers who sell this product and you can see the picture. Now, very short period, you saw very quick, we found dropshippers who dropship from Home Depot to eBay. We can validate this is the picture. Pictures are exactly same. Now we go through the same process. We will click on the scan seller button, hit the control button on the keyboard and just click a few of them, right? Let's Zeek do the work for us. Now, the competitor research will show me their performance. Now, take a look. The first seller here on the last seven days generate $9,515. I'll switch to 30 days just to see. He generated $34,000 in 30 days. And just to let you know, guys, the settings here can be set up. Uh, so it can either be always on 30 days or 21 days or seven days as you decide. So this seller is a good example for seller who make good revenues drop shipping from Home Depot to eBay. The next step will be to go and find this product on Home Depot. Now it's a little bit different because we don't have the same functionalities like with Walmart. So you will need to do the work a bit more manually. So we'll copy the title. You will go to Home Depot and you will search the title here and see if we can find the exact same product. So we can see that this product here sold for $14.99 on eBay selling here for $12.39. Now, sometimes we find seller with low profit margins. Sometimes we find seller with high profit margins. I recommend you to focus on the sellers with higher profit margins so you can actually find product and sell. A lot of sellers using back end cashback. Either they have a card with cashback, they use discount gift cards and all these things help them to get this product for a lower price so they can price it lower here. And you, go, you do the same process. Now, sometimes you will not find a product with a title you will just find the product by searching the image. So if you can't find it by title, don't give up. Open the product on eBay, click here, search image on Google, and let the image search on Google find you the product directly on Home Depot. And you can see here is the product on Home Depot, and it helps you to find this product as well. So it's selling here for $68.97, and it's selling here on eBay for $33.56. Let's see if it's the same size. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, so this one was the smaller size, you see, 5,000 SQ feet. And here it's out of stock. This is why this product is out of stock here as well. While the bigger one, the 15,000 selling for 68.97, which by the way, is not, a, is not a bad idea to try sell the bigger one because if there is no smaller one, people will need to buy the bigger one and you will be the first to offer it. There, there is not enough supply in the market, you offer an alternative. So guys, this was uh, how you find dropshippers who use Walmart, how you find dropshippers who use Home Depot. The process is very similar. The only difference is between uh, Walmart and Home Depot is that with Walmart, you look for brand. With Home Depot, you look for a title of one of the best selling products from their platform. I show you how you find it. I show you how you do it. You need to just watch the video and practice it on Zeek Analytics and go through the process a couple of times because maybe in the beginning it sounds overwhelming and it's a bit hard, but once you make it, a few times it will be easy for you i hope you find this video valuable please smash the like button subscribe to our channel if you have questions leave questions in the comment section below and i want to wish you best of luck and i'll see you in the next video guys ciao